for seven to eight million motor vehicle accidents. And this is quite a lot of accidents because you know the Germans are very car crazy and they're driving fast or they're driving a lot. So we have a lot injured, and that's between 33,000 and 38,000 injured with the ISS above 50. That was in 2009. The number of deaths, as you can see, the number of deaths here, was far about 75,000 per year, and it dropped dramatically. Why do you have an impression why it dropped? What is it? No? Speed limit. Well, a bit of speed limits, but we don't love them. We just change the government safety if they have safety, to. Safety to the car. Yes, we had a lot of technical things like airbags and stiffer cars and things like that. And this is a technical improvement. You see, on top of that, what we are doing every day in our medical business. So both things comes together. But still, 31,000 deaths have been much too far. And so in, in 1990, the German Society of Trauma Surgery started a, um, an action to say we must have a new goal, we must change and reduce the death in Germany. So what we did is we created trauma centers. And a lot of you see a lot of dots. It's not flies, it's uh, trauma centers. The red one is level one trauma center, the blue one is level two trauma center, and the yellow ones are level three. So and these level, uh, these level one, two, three trauma centers, they were all conglomerated together, so we had trauma nets. And all this 47 trauma nets now, at, at that time, covered 98.7%. Uh, uh, so you see, you can have a trauma net which covers the whole country. Fine. Everything done? No. We could see that a lot of hospitals took place, but it, it was for free. So at that time, we had 113 hospitals taking place. Now we have 930 hospitals of 2,200, but it's just half of the hospitals that are taking place. We cover more patients. Now we have 24,000. At 2005, we have 24,000 of the severely injured. Now we have about 32,000 of the 33,000 severely injured, which is pretty good. But are we good? Let's look into the numbers. The trauma registry gives you some hints. And there you see what, what uh, Rian was talking about, the unexpected survival of patients. So what you can see on this graph at the right side, that is total survivors and the or mortality of the German Society of Trauma Registry. And when you have your own hospital, that's just one hospital, that was anonymized, every hospital just gets their own numbers and the countrywide numbers. And there you could see, where's the number? There it is. There you could see, well, I've been here with a mortality of 27% in 2003, and the next year I have been uh, with a mortality of 22%. And so this is below risk calculation, so that means you're better than expected, and you're doing well. And you improved since last year, but there's still a way to go because the mortality of 22% is still above the German average. So this is what every hospital in a single one could see. So it's a, something like a benchmarking. We also can follow the benchmarking on the national level now, and we, we can see that between 1999 and 2010, uh, 13, this is the last number that we have, the mortality rate is dropping, which is fine. There are also some other things that we benchmark, because you have the big hospitals that have MRI, that have CT close to the emergency department, and we have smaller hospitals that don't have access to other things. They have maybe a, a radiology department in their hospital, but the, the radiologist or the assistant is not in, not in the house, so they have to call them in. And what we could see and prove is between 1999 and uh, 2005, the time to get a C-spine radiograph dropped in Germany from 25 to 15 minutes, and that means it's significant. Also the time to chest X-ray and also the time to ultrasound. So that means if we have a severely injured, that needs urgent diagnostics, we were able to drop the number in average, that 
does not mean everything about the single hospital, but in average, the time to diagnostics improved. There has been a market use of and increase the use of CT because we have faster scanners and faster computer programs that give early pictures and so you see the increase in CT. I think, well, my impression is that we are about to have 60 to 70 percent of all trauma patients with ISS about 15 to get a CT, if not more. The, the amount of damage control operations during that time with femoral fracture and, and other body organs in the stays roughly the same. So other things you can measure within the hospitals, if you are quick enough to bring the patient to surgery, which is a blue line below, and you can see the number of time from admission, I'm a bit more louder, I can do that. The time from, from emergency surgery Till from the emergency department till the operation theater dropped from 45 to 39 minutes. And as you can see, if a patient does not need any surgery, the time to intensive care was 113 minutes. So we are improving. Is everything well? Let's see. We took three different aspects of the whole trauma system. So we had the top 10 trauma centers in terms of mortality. Then we have 10 mid-risk hospitals, and we took the lowest ones. And what you can see at the top here, you see that the top 10 hospitals care for 3,500 of the most severely injured, while the lowest at the middle care for 2,200 or 2,000 patients. So that means the hospitals that are better in mortality, are lower in mortality, they care for more severely injured. That is here to see, the mortality is most, is highest, and is above the estimated risk in the low treatment hospitals. The low treatment hospitals and the top hospitals are, have the lowest mortality. So bringing things together, just subsuming for in between, there's a significant difference in mortality and it seems to be that there's a link between the treatment numbers of severely injured and the outcome. But it's not as just, just easy as this that we say just the treatment numbers equals better outcome. <coughs> there are certain points that we have not yet identified. It's always easy to say the others are worse. Why should I improve? But we have, if we care for the trauma patient, it's only us. It's a group of us who says, Let's look into the business, it's not the blame business, find out what we can improve as a team. And so if we look into Germany, we see the blue colored areas. There is mostly areas uh, where we analyze the death per thousand inhabitants. This is crude mortality for trauma. Yeah? Crude mortality, without any reasons, without hospitals, without level one, two, three, any, anything. And we see that there are Two counties in Germany, they have a markedly elevated death per one million inhabitants. So why is that? What is characteristic for that? And these are areas which are not densely populated. These are rural areas. So there's still a big business to do. And this is from an American publication, but you see in rural areas, it's very easy. It takes a lot of time to come to the next hospital. In Germany, we have the, the dictum that we try to be, the, the emergency call should be to the patient within 20 minutes. Uh, sometimes we reach only at 30 minutes. Here they say about 45, but the characteristic is, as you can see, in rural areas, less people have uh, fast access to qualified professional medical help. So what can we do now? So how can we get rid of the problem? Well, there's an easy solution, but we don't do it. You see, we cannot get rid of the rural population like in sick horses and say, bam, they are away, the problem is solved. We have to find a different solution, okay? So this is why we need a registrar which goes much more deeper into just mortality, and just in a pre-hospital time, and find out what factors in the hospitals and outside the hospitals may be the problem. 
some people said, well, we need a lot of helicopters, let's buy it. Medicine is prone to try a lot of uh, fancy tools. But the tools themselves may help, but only if they are wisely used. So and money, you can only spend one time. So I think helicopters might aid, but the, the time to qualified help is just one aspect of the whole thing. We need to bring all things together, and that begins at the injury event, that is here, going to a rapid um, alarm, going to a first EMS response, maybe with extended paramedic um, professionalism help, which is starting in Germany now, because we are, have less and less emergency doctors as well, better hospital care, and also better rehabilitation. So, coming to the point, our chain of health is still like this in Germany. But we want to find out, and I think we will find out through having a bigger trauma registry and collecting much more single items, just that we don't stay like this, but it will be like this one day. Thank you very much.